how is Egypt change? Egypt didn't change actually. It just we have removed the, the very smooth and very thin surface of the regime, which is Mubarak, our former president. But the fact is that the older regime is still there, they are still working, they are still in the leading position in our country. They are, st they are still leading the country to a place nobody knows where, actually. Uh, we are having the Supreme Council of Armed Forces. They are now ruling the country. And all I know about their vision is that they are trying to protect themselves. They know quite well that they are a good part of the older regime and they have been participated in different uh, corruption, uh, dictatorship uh, 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 actions in the society. So they know quite well if they, if they go out from the rule, they will be punished and they will be charged for their crimes. But actually what surprised me that they didn't stop acting crimes they are still doing some crimes against freedom, against revolution guys, against the demonstrators. And I think all the international community has witnessed what's happening in Egypt, especially in Tahrir Square. The people in Egypt, they are not satisfied and they are disappointed from the revolution. But for me, this is kind of misunderstanding because the, revolu the revolution, it's, it didn't succeed yet and we didn't rule the country, we didn't implement our vision for the future of this country. So when you ask someone, uh, a very normal, normal, poor citizen, what do you think about the revolution? He would say, I didn't gain anything from this revolution, which is so hard. Because people, when we started the revolution and they started to participate, they had a lot of expect expectations and they wanted freedom, they wanted welfare, they wanted, wanted a, a, a good life standards. And what happened now is that all the things are just in the same way. The, the salaries, the, uh, economic, the economy, everything is just the same way, which prevents the citizen from interacting or being more supporting for the, the revolution. They will just say, OK, stop it enough revolution <laughs> but i do think that when we lead the country and i do believe that we are going to lead one day i think it's gonna be changed and their life standards their economic uh, economic life political life and their culture will, will change a lot i th i think the spark of our revolution started from one year before the revolution with khalid saeed accident uh, Khalid Said, he is a guy from Alexandria and he has been tortured and beaten by some of the police forces until he died. And uh, what made the people in, in the streets and from different classes in the society uh, interact with this specific case that it was kind of a very cruel torture and the photos has been published everywhere and there were campaigns and there were demonstrations, marches, every, every kind of peaceful uh, uh, protesting against that. And so we just keep moving towards the revolution very smoothly until it came when Ben Ali and especially the Tunisian revolution happened. It was like if the Tunisian people made it, we can made it. <laughs> and it's kind that people will think that the Tunisian people are only 10 million their population, and we are 85. So it's kind of, I think people started to envy the, the Tunisian guys, and they thought that if we just can go out to the streets and with a very peaceful ways, we will do it. Maybe Mubarak will go and we can get our life, our freedom back. But the election in 2010, at the end of 2010, we had the worst election ever that we had in our country. It was kind of a mess, a big mess. Uh, you will find fraud, you will find corruption, you will find violence, you will find people who will die, and you will find a very unusual uh, ways of, uh, of doing this election. And 
and people were just very frustrated about that. And I do believe that the Egyptian people, as most of the Egyptian, uh, the, the societies around us, they are not that much interested in the foreign, foreign affairs and what's happening around, but they are well concentrating and focused about what's happening in our, in our country. So when it comes to the election to, in 2010, it was kind of, okay, enough. We got enough from this regime.